Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I am currently a third year PhD candidate studying history at The Ohio State University and today I'm just taking you guys along for another realistic and very unesthetic day in my life. I feel like lately I've just been super tired, there's been a lot of stuff going on in my personal life and I haven't really been filming that much lately because I watch a lot of other study YouTubers and I see a lot of really, really aesthetic lives, which I think by now you guys know is not really who I am. So if that's what you're expecting, that's not what you're going to get. But today I have a lot of stuff to do, so I thought I'd just take you along to show you a very realistic grad student life. I got back from Thanksgiving this last Tuesday and I was so proud of myself. I unpacked my suitcase that night, everything was put away, the house was looking pretty good, and then this week I have just let the house go. It looks so bad. I. I've been here by myself because Colleen is out of town and it looks so messy. So step one is clean the house. Step two, I have got to get some grants worked on. I have some deadlines coming up and some things I need to get done. So I want to work on that. I have a call with my old French host parents. They now like once a month or once every two weeks are having all their past exchange students come together and just chat about different things so we can keep up our French. So I have that, I might read a little. Yesterday I spent the entire day with Andrew's parents, my future in-laws, and that was super fun. We got a little shopping done. So I also need to wrap some Christmas presents. So I do have a very busy day, but I want to take it slow while I get everything done, but just try and make my house feel a little bit more like a home today. But let me give you the tour of what needs to be done. So first we have the living room, not, not the kitchen, but the little dining space. Going up, my room needs to be fixed and Last but not least, my desk is a mess. So first up is I need to eat breakfast and brush my hair and then we're just gonna get straight into the day by cleaning everything up first. en France la deuxième fois que j'étais assistant, euh, j'ai fait Noël en, au Dan, Danemark parce que j'avais, j'ai une amie qui habite là-bas donc j'ai fait, euh, c'était ma première Noël, euh, pas avec ma famille, était au Chili, euh, donc ça, au Chili, donc ça c'était très différent parce qu'il faisait chaud Et puis la deuxième fois, pas, je n'étais pas avec ma famille, j'étais au Danemark et il faisait très froid, mais il n'a pas nagé comme j'avais pensé parce que euh, ils sont trop proches à la côte, donc euh, il neige pas assez que j'avais pensé au Danemark en fait. <laughs> okay, my tripod is not really working, but. We had a very fun and successful Zoom. And the two hours before that, I was so productive. I did all the dishes. I, for the most part, cleaned up my desk situation. Um, I cleared off the table. I cleared off this. We just have this puzzle I did the other day. So we're working on the stairs. Slowly but surely, we are having a good productive day. Next up, I'm going to eat lunch and take a little break. And then I need to start working on some grant applications. I'm working on them over time, but there's one big one that I, I'm really kicking myself for not having worked on it earlier. But like I said, I've been having a lot of personal stuff going on, which is kind of a bummer. 
but I would like to attempt to apply for this really big fellowship. Um, we'll see if I can pull it together. I have a meeting with my advisor this week to talk about it and see if I can make it happen. But that means I need to have something prepared for him to look over. So that is our plan for the next few hours. We are going to make some tea for a little motivation for the grand writing, had a little bit to eat. I'm trying to decide which tea I want to drink. Also, I need to outsource this question. I'm sure I could just look it up. So a while ago, my mom had gotten me these chai tea packets. I love going to coffee places and getting chai tea lattes. It's the only kind of like thing that I'll get out. But I don't know how to recreate that with this, with just a chai tea packet. Does anyone know how to do that? Because it's a bit too like, bitter or strong for me when I do just the tea bag. Um, but anyways, I think I'm just gonna go for some English breakfast. Am I gonna be really boring with that? I want something with a little bit of caffeine instead of just a chamomile so that I can really be motivated for this writing stuff. So we're gonna do that. Then step two when I make my tea is to pick out a mug. I have way too many mugs. This isn't even all of them. I don't know where some of them are. Let's go for the Survivor mug today. We are gonna take a little break because I've made a lot of progress on the two, I pretty much finished the one grant application and then the other one is a fellowship. I've made a lot of great progress. So since today is actually a Sunday, I'm gonna take a little break and watch a Hallmark movie and play a little Stardew Valley, which I got like over Thanksgiving break that I have been playing. And I don't fully understand it still, I'm doing my best but it's fun and I need to work on my farm and do some mining. So I'm gonna play a little Stardew Valley and watch a Hallmark movie. Okay, it has been a minute and by a minute, I mean like two weeks since I last worked out. So I'm gonna throw on a Yoga with Adrian video and do a yoga that also has a bit of a focus on abs. That way I can ease back in before I return to the Chloe Ting workouts that I've been doing. And I'm also really excited because every year for the past, I don't know how many years, out, probably four, I've been doing Yoga with Adrienne's challenge at the beginning of January to do 30 days worth of yoga. And she just announced that, there we go, this is better. Okay, back to where we were. Yoga with Adrienne has announced the theme for January, 2023. And the theme or the word of the year or month is center, which I'm super excited for because that has been one of my words of the year for myself in the past two or three years. So I'm excited to do a new yoga challenge starting in January. But for today, I am just going to do a feel good flow, 20 minute yoga for abs with Yoga with Adrian, And then I'm gonna have some dinner, probably salmon and rice and avocado because I have an avocado that needs to be eaten. And then I will relax for the evening, do a little bit more grant work. I have been, quick sidebar, I have been really beating myself up lately about not doing enough work to prepare for the grants that I've been writing. But the truth is one of the proposals I've had written for over a month 
And I've also been doing a lot of legwork, which is figuring out exactly which archives I need to go to. So I'm in pretty good shape, especially for the applications that I will be doing in February and March, which will be the departmental ones. And then there's one for the Historial de la Grande Guerre, which is in France. That is an important one to apply to. So I've been doing a lot of good legwork, figuring out the archives, figuring out the specific fun, uh, fonds. What's that word in English? Mm, like collections that I, need, that I need to look at. My mom is calling, so I will take this and then I will do yoga and finish talking about the grants later. <laughs> some Survivor China. I spent a little time with Andrew watching a very old season of Survivor because I've convinced him to like Survivor so now we're going back and watching the old seasons. I need to finish editing this current video so that I can get it posted tomorrow. As you can tell I've not had a great posting schedule lately so if you want to be sure you know when I have a video coming out go ahead and turn on those notifications and make sure you are subscribed that way you know every time I post a new video. Okay so after I edit this video which I'm almost done I am going to be reading a book. I am doing a book reading for Advent so reading one chapter a day. So I have that to do. I have just brewed a cup of sleepy time tea and I hope to be in bed in the next hour. I have a very, very long day tomorrow because I have so much grading to do. The one class that has 60 students has their discussion posts that are due tonight at midnight. So I need to start grading them tomorrow. And I need those graded by Friday because Friday is when I have to start grading the final exams and then I'll have another discussion post. Anyways, so to keep things moving, I got a lot of grading tomorrow. All that to say is thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything in particular that you wanna see or you have any questions about grad school, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next week, bye.